Love enchiladas, but don't think you can make them at home? Today I'll show you how to use rotisserie chicken to get these babies in the oven in about 20-30 minutes. Hey there, if we haven't met yet, I'm Jamie Renee, and every week I bring you new recipes that are easy to follow and easy to modify. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. For these chicken enchiladas, this is what you're going to need. Now granted, it's a little bit more ingredients than I'm usually bringing you, but for chicken enchiladas, you're going to have to step up your game just a little bit. So today, we are going to use rotisserie chicken. I've got three cups. You can use leftover chicken if you don't have rotisserie chicken. I have chicken broth, flour, sour cream. I have some Monterey Jack cheese. You can also use cheddar, whatever um, kind of cheese you like. Pepper Jack would be good as well. I have some eight inch I don't know if they're eight inch. I have eight flour tortillas. I've got the burrito size, cilantro, butter, garlic, cumin, rotel, and green chilies. This is gonna be good. The first thing we're gonna do is preheat the oven to 350 and then saute us some onions, which I don't even have out. Okay, let's just pretend like I told you about these. Um, we are going to saute some onions that we're going to use in our filling for our chicken enchiladas. It's going to be great, but um, I forgot to mention that. I like the frozen onions so I don't have to chop anything, but you can do that too. I've thrown a tab of my butter in here. Tab? Pat? I don't know. There's butter in the pan. So I'm going to use a cup of these and saute these up while I stir up my other ingredients. Okay, so we have our ingredients here. I'm just going to um, dump these in a big bowl so I can stir it freely and mix everything up. I've got my rotisserie chicken. I've got my can of Rotel. I am going to drain the juices off of it. Okay, so we have that. I've got a handful of cilantro. We're gonna call that a quarter cup. I'm gonna throw that in there. I'm going to add my cup of onions that I have sauteed. Those were on there maybe five, 10 minutes just while I was getting stuff together. And I'm going to add half a teaspoon each of garlic powder and cumin. This is a bag of two cups. I'm going to use half of it in the filling and then the other half on top so it doesn't have to be exact. I'm just gonna grab half a cup or I mean half a bag here, which is about a cup. And then I'm gonna stir all this together. The sauce that we are going to put over the top, it's a sour cream sauce, white sauce, some people call it different things. I'm going to use equal parts butter and flour. We're gonna make like a little gravy, and then we're gonna stir in some sour cream and green chilies. So first we're going to let this butter melt up, and then we're going to add in the flour. Two tablespoons of butter, I'm going to add two tablespoons of flour, and then we're going to brown the flour so it's not um, pasty or anything like that. So to brown the flour, you just kind of stir it around in the butter and make sure that there's not any like chunks or lumps or anything that is gonna taste funky. So brown up your flour and then once that's done, we're going to add in some chicken broth. Okay, as you can see, there's no chunks left. It's starting to bubble, everything's thick. I have two cups of chicken broth here and I'm just going to pour it in. Okay, that looks funky right now, but it's going to simmer and all of that is gonna to blend together. And then once we mix it with the sour cream and green chilies, we're gonna put it on top of our enchiladas. Okay, as you can see, this has mixed together. It's not looking all funky anymore. It's starting to bubble around the edges and it is not super thick, but it's thicker. We're just gonna let this simmer for another minute and then we're going to remove it from the heat. Just continue to stir all these little bubbles. That's a good thing. Okay, so I am starting to assemble these. I am using, this is just a quarter cup 
I'm using two scoops of that, so half a cup total, just to kind of get us a good amount of filling here. Wrapping it, turning on the insides. And just kind of rolling it over. And I am putting these in my baking dish. have removed this from the stove and it has been cooling off for just a minute or so I'm gonna go ahead and stir in my green chilies I am gonna do this first because it will continue to drop the temperature of the um, sauce that we made so let's just stir in your green chilies we'll give that a quick stir and then we'll stir in our sour cream this was just a cup of sour cream and one of the larger cans of diced chilies. This is um, seven ounces. So I'm going to stir that up. And once it's mixed thoroughly, we're gonna dump it on top of our enchiladas. All right, I have this all stirred up. It is looking delicious. It tastes delicious. We're gonna pour it on top of our enchiladas and then put these in our preheated oven after we top them with cheese. You just want to thoroughly cover your enchiladas. That looks delicious. Make sure all of the edges are covered with sauce so they don't get crispy in the oven since we did not um, like pre-oil these or anything, preheat them. So I've got this, I've got the remainder of my Monterey Jack cheese. We're going to top this and finish it off. Delicious. We've got these in the oven and we are going to leave them in there 20, 30 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. And whenever they get all bubbly and the tops start to brown just a little bit. These are out of the oven. They look and smell delicious. They taste delicious too. If you want a recipe to go with this to kind of fill out the whole, um, Menu, you can go ahead and check out this recipe for hash brown casserole. It'll go well with this, even though it sounds kind of weird. Think of boilos, papas con chili. It's delicious. That's it for this week. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get notified of new videos every week.